All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the Cyclone Fanatic Halftime Show. We're calling it After Dark tonight. It's, what, 11.10 here in Iowa. Uh, I got Chris and Jared out in Las Vegas, Matt Van Winkle here in Iowa. I want to thank our sponsors of the Halftime Show, Carl Chevrolet, Des Moines Eye Care, and Nebraska Furniture Mart. All right, guys, uh, it sounds like it's a little loud out there. I'm going to mute uh, Jared real quick. But, Chris, how's the atmosphere out there at Allegiant Stadium? It's incredible. Uh, can you hear me okay? I just want to make yeah, sure we can. I'm we good. got you, man. We okay. got you. Yeah, it's incredible, man. Like it, it's a full game. It's a Big Twelve tournament. It's it's super rowdy. It was like there's this bridge that connects Mandalay Bay, which a lot of Iowa State fans are staying at, to the Allegiant Stadium. And I put a picture up earlier, and it was like it, it reminded me of like a zombie movie when the zombies were like invading another city or something like that it's it's just um yeah iowa state fans are nuts it's incredible out here i bet it's 10 to 1 iowa state fans. it's really not any not even close yeah. when it comes to the crowd. i mean i mean the tv broadcast the radio broadcasts are definitely doing it justice it looks like iowa state fans to no surprise traveled well and they're making a difference in this game it really does sound like there are 20 to thirty thousand iowa state fans in there uh, in Allegiant Stadium. So, Jared, let's let's break down this first half, man. I mean, Iowa State gets off to a really good start offensively. The defense is doing its thing. Um, what did you see from those first two drives where Iowa State was able to score the ball that was different maybe from the first two uh, games that we've seen from this team this season? Yeah, man. I mean, I think the, the first big thing is really, you know, they played with a good pace. They were able to get into a good rhythm offensively and stay ahead of the sticks. And then you know, from there, you're able to create some explosive plays. You had a couple of nice runs from Brees. They had the nice uh, pass to Charlie that went down the sidelines for a pretty solid game. Um, I mean, I think that's the biggest thing. It just looks clean. It looks like they're playing in rhythm and, um, you know, being able to uh, get in, you know, get into situations that they feel like are, are favorable. You know, you just got to kind of clean up some of those, you know, some of the little mistakes that have held them back a little bit, whether it be, uh, you know, the, the holding call down here – that on a touchdown pass, uh, Brock's fumble. You know, yep. I, I think you probably would like to see Brees just try and power it into the end zone rather than uh, jump up over the pile, even though he's done that, you know, with some success in his career. But, you know, you're kind of nitpicking when you're up 24 to zero and your defense is playing the way that Iowa State is right now. That, you let me into Jared. Like, it, it's, it's fascinating to me. Hey, what's up? You want to be on the halftime show? Hey, Chris. How's it going? Say hi to all the go Cyclones. Say hi to all the viewers. Here we go. We're having a blast. Right, we're going to get a picture with this guy. This is this is this right, is Cyclone Fanatic like, after dark. This, this is what look you're going to get. This guy's <laughs> Like this is all right. great. All right, we're going to get one more. This one is, more. All right, here we go. This is boots on the ground. There we go. This yeah, is boots nice on the guys. ground in Las Vegas, yeah, man. This is what you got. We get to speed up and literally be taking pictures of fans in the middle of the show. We got oh one more. God. You want to be on the halftime show? Jared, is, isn't this what Ross gives Chris crap for on Fanatics all the time? Yes. There we go. Yes. All right. Yeah, one more picture Okay. Here. All right. He's the man of the people. What can we say? Uh, now this lady's um, going to take – We're just going to mute Chris for a second. So, yeah, good call. Uh, so, so Jared, so Brock goes 16 for 19, 160, obviously had the fumble there, but I kind of go back to the things that Campbell was saying, you know, last week is this, man, they're just like a few inches off on some plays, man. Like the Brees, the Brees dive into the end zone, uh, the Brock fumble, man, they're like, they, I mean, they should really be up two more scores by now. Right. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, I, you know, it's you can just see where they're so close on some of these plays that they've gotten that have been explosive where it's like they're one block away from it being a touchdown. You know, like Brees had one run that's like if he could have got one more block, he probably would have scored. Uh, that's the run that Brock had down here in the corner in front of me going uh, to the left. So it would have been in the first quarter on fourth and one. Like that was nearly a touchdown if you get one more block. Um, you know, but I, I do think it's got to be – it's been a lot cleaner for the most part, you know, obviously, you know, he's not very good, uh, which oh, kind of skew, skews some of these things, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, like they've looked much better than they did last week. Man, Chris, your guy Hutchinson I, had a great, I, I a, your guy Hutchinson had a great first half. He goes, uh, nine receptions, 116 yards and a touchdown there. You got to like what you're seeing yeah. from X. Yeah, it's clear that, I mean, I feel like he's the only guy on the offense that Brock trusts. Honestly, when I when I watch Brock right now, zeroing in on targets and checking down yeah. and 
Um, At least downfield. I mean, you, he's got yeah. Kohler. He's the check downs to Kohler. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Jerry Brock still doesn't look the same to me. Um, he's checking down all the time against a bad defense. He's got all day to throw. Um, but that, that's like it, it is interesting too that you look at the box score. What is it like? Two hundred and fifty-two yards to like twenty-eight. You're up 24 to nothing, and, like, we can sit here and be, like, picking on it. Like, you're right. Like, it's just a, it's kind of a wild deal. But, I, you know, that's my big takeaway. I, this defense is doing exactly what I thought it would do to this team. I watched this UNLV team twice now this year, and I, I, I thought that lines on both sides would have a really difficult time with Iowa State. But, man, like, that, use this second half to get Brock right. I don't care what you have to do. He's not right. Um, he's not terrible. He's not. I mean, he's a good quarterback. Iowa State needs for him to be great going into the Big 12. And that's why I, I'm not giving up on him. I, I know what he can do, but I want to see them roll him out, just let him take some shots downfield, and really work on his just momentum. I don't think confidence is the right word. Brock always has confidence, but they still don't have a lot of I feel I, I still don't feel like the offense has a ton of momentum. After yeah. the half, they got stuck at the goal line. A bad yep. turnover where Brock should have just handed the ball off on a read. He had a terrible pass after that. He should have been picked off once. Like, it still seems sloppy to me. They should be up by 35 points at the very least yeah. right now. Yeah, for sure. I mean, and we got to give we got to give props to the defense, too. I mean, they're putting this, this team in great positions right now to score the ball. And, you know, the offense just needs to respond. I mean, you had the, the – uh, UNLV has that goal line stand on briefs, but then the defense res- responds with a big stop. Aishin gets a big interception, and then the offense does respond. So, you know, there's things that you like to see from this offense, but you'd obviously like to see them do a little bit more with what they're given. Hey, so are you Jerry, drinking Corona? What are you drinking? Yeah, Corona. They don't have a great selection. It's all good. It's all good. It looked like a uh, like a white claw or something. I was gonna say, what, is the, what has happened this weekend that led the Williams to get white claw? It's a Corona premiere. Okay. It's like a mix. Yeah. I really like it. It's it's good. It, it's a um, great taste and not very filling. I feel like the Lions already used. It. Real quick, um, what what the hell is targeting anymore? Like, didn't yeah, Kaimani know. King, like, wasn't that, like, the definition of targeting? And yeah, this is what we need Brett, this is like, what I, we needed I, Brett here for. I honestly, I have no idea. Because, like, when I saw that replay, oh, my gosh, shit, he's out next to so, the so I So, Chris, when I watched it on TV, what it looked like to me was that King was kind of leading with his helmet, but the receiver was also kind of leaning, leaning that way, too. So it, it kind of looked like they were both doing the same type of movement. And I don't think they deemed that it was uh, – there was intent there. So I think that was what it came down to. Um, okay. They really slowed it. They, they really slowed it down on the replay. I mean, it probably could have gone either way, but I don't know. There's obviously um, no definitive answer. I, but I thought for sure it would be targeting. I thought maybe they would do the intent part and go the other route yeah. with it and not, but like, man, like whatever, I'll take it. I'm happy about it. But All right. Uh, defensive domination. I'm going to go. It's yep. getting kind of rowdy. Yep. I'm all right, Chris, we'll let you go. That all the Iowa State fans have found out that there's a bathroom at the end, so it's getting a little <laughs> rambunctious. Cool, man. All right, have well, fun. Chris, Chris, are you going to have an instant reaction, or is Jared going to handle that for you? Uh, we'll probably do a reaction podcast tomorrow morning, considering it yeah. is in the middle of the night in Iowa. So look yep. for that. Good too. point. Cool. Jared will have post-game. Awesome. Yes, for sure. Jared's got you covered on post game. Guys, appreciate you hopping on the halftime show. Thanks, I want to thank man. our sponsors. Yep. Carl Chevrolet, Des Moines Eye Care, uh, Nebraska Furniture Mart as well for sponsoring the halftime show. Jared, enjoy the second half, man. Yeah, for sure, man. I'll talk to you later. All right. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll see you later.